Hello, my name is Brandon Isaiah Garcia from bgiphoto.com and today I'm going to show you how to retouch skin in Photoshop. Um, you're probably starting off and you're like, I don't know how to do that and it's probably difficult. But it's not difficult at all. It's like super easy. So I'm going to show you the best ways to do it or the way I do it at least. Um, so I have my photo here open and I used a photo of myself because I don't want to show anyone else's imperfections. I don't know about that. Like, no, no, no. I'm just going to show you my own. Um, I'm going to go over here and I always unlock this layer. I just grab the little lock and then throw it in the trash. And then I always duplicate it. You just drag it down to this little page looking thing and it duplicates. And then um, now I can use the patch tool. So I'm going to go over here, right click and then go to the patch tool. And how you use the patch tool is like this. You just select the blemished area and then you drag it to a clear area works really well. Um, I'm using a Wacom tablet right now, but you don't need a Wacom tablet. If you have a mouse, that's perfect. If you have a trackpad, that's amazing. Um, we're going to deal with your limitations. You know, you don't need a million dollars to produce a good image. Um, this is noticeably off focus a little bit because obviously I didn't take a picture of myself. I had my cousin do it. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer and then now I'm going to show you how to use the spot healing brush. Um, you go over here, spot healing brush, okay let's say you're in another tool, the marquee tool and then you just click J to go to spot healing brush. To make the brush larger you go ahead and click the right bracket key and then for a smaller brush you go to the left bracket key. Um, I'm going to zoom in again so I'm going to click Z and then I'm going to go uh, click and then J, remember your shortcuts, and then I'm just going to come over here and simply just draw over the blemishes. Um, the thing is, don't, um, don't immediately jump to the big blemishes like this one. Like, don't do that, because then it's not going to look natural or good. You want to work from the outside in, uh, very small, and then go in there. Um, I'm showing you very rough how I do it, because, uh, this is just a tutorial video, but when you do it yourself, make sure to actually put the time in there to carefully look at these blemishes, see what needs to be removed and what doesn't need to be removed. Um, for example, do not remove a mole. That's a big no-no. You don't do that because that can come off as insulting to your client. Um, also, do not remove freckles. Uh, it's a little bit hard to distinguish what's a blemish that's temporary and a freckle in this photo. Um, but just try not to remove any blemishes that are permanent. Well, not blemishes, just uh, features of the face like moles and birthmarks. Don't remove that, but go ahead, unless it's requested, but go ahead and remove pimples and temporary things like that. Uh, just work at it slowly but surely you'll have a good retouch image with the facial features uh, as the main attraction and not the facial blemishes. Uh, see I messed up there a little bit. I'm just gonna go to my E for erase and then erase that and then I can just go J again and then just go ahead and continue. But um, let me show you. Okay. That was before, that's after so far. See, not a big difference because uh, this is just a tutorial, but eventually if you're working on this photo for like 30 minutes or longer, um, you'll get a good, nicely retouched photograph and uh, good luck on your new business or your new hobby or whatever it is. And I hope to make more videos for you guys soon. Um, but this was about how to just simply retouch or get started by retouching the skin. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, again, my name is Brandon Isaiah Garcia from bgiphoto.com and I will see you in the next tutorial.